and I want to tell you here in front of God and everybody, and this is, if it's weird, y'all just settle down. Um, I'm having a hysterectomy on Monday. Oh. That's a good thing. Um, but I had decided that if I had become pregnant, it, we were just going to give you the baby. Would you? Yeah. Thank you. So sorry I'm cutting off that chance. Okay. Um, take it away, Amanda. Okay. Can I make this a little taller? Is that just... Yeah. There. Okay. <laughs> that does kind of lead me into my story, but I just want to start out with letting you guys all know that last year, my husband and I, we found a baby on the side of the road. What? <laughs> a baby on the side of the road. And we were coming home from a vacation with my family in Walker, Minnesota. So we were middle of nowhere, country highways. I can't tell you what highway because I'm not from here. I don't know what road I was on. Found a little baby, probably 18 months, maybe two years old, walking on the side of the road. I'm not joking. Um, what you should know is two weeks before that, my husband and I found out that we cannot have children and we had a failed IVF. So we're going through this really hard time and getting through it, going on this vacation to kind of get over it. And then we're driving home and we find a baby on the side of the road. <laughs> and we're like, is this it? Is this how we become parents? Are we, is this our baby? Are we taking this baby? I will take this baby. Like my, <laughs> even though I don't have, you know, children of my own, I love children. I have nieces and nephews. My maternal instincts, they kick in. I mean, anybody's would when you see a baby walking on the side of the road, it's terrifying. So to get real about, I mean, it ended up being okay, sort of, I guess, if you want to call it that. But so we, you know, pull over, this other couple pulls over to help and everyone sees what's going on. We're freaking out. So we take the baby and it can't even talk. I mean, she's just kind of like filthy, dirty, in rain boots, in her pajamas. We're like, give me your water, give me your snacks. Where have you been? What's going on? And we finally call the sheriff, but it's going to take like over an hour because we're in the middle of nowhere. And so literally, I think my husband and I are like, should we just maybe take this baby? <laughs> like, would anyone know? Like, whose baby is this? This random baby. Like, is this the miracle from God? Like, is this, I'm not even a religious person, but am I now? I have this baby, like, off the side of the road. So... Long story short, the police come. Meanwhile, somebody had actually found like a group of cars and he's like, well, there's a group of cars and a hiking trail. I'm just gonna go see if anyone's missing a baby, <laughs> right? <laughs> and one thing led to another and this woman came running from the woods and she emerged and freaking out. It was her baby. She was actually a gypsy who they just were roaming the countryside and lost track of their baby. I mean, in, and I'm not trying to like, you know, make any judgment on lifestyles. She actually came back completely coherent and was able to communicate with the police officers. And they just kind of realized that it'd be better for the baby to go with her mom <laughs> than to come home with me. But that's my baby story. 